Hey guys, my name is SDPT Aaron from SDPT Solutions and welcome to our basic C++ tutorial part 4. So for today, we are going to learn about functions. So here is our tutorial flow for today. So first of all, we are going to learn the function syntax. And then next, we are going to learn kung paano tawagin yung function na yun. And then lastly, we are going to learn about parameters and return statement in function. Okay, so, but first of all, we are going to define what function is. So, this is my personal definition. A function is a group of code that fulfills certain tasks. So, mamaya, may intindihan nyo kung bakit yun yung definition niya. And this is the syntax for our functions. So, meron tayong return type. Meron din tayong function name na kahit ano. And then, next, we have um, parentheses. And then, sa gitna nun, may parameter tayo. And then next, meron tayong curly braces, dalawa, magkapares. And then sa gitna nun, andun yung lahat ng code natin. So mamaya, mas maintindihan yung lahat ng syntax na to. And you, and you will realize na nandun pala kayo sa loob ng function all along. So lipat na tayo sa code blocks. And gawa na kayo ng bagong console application. So here we are at code blocks. So i-delete muna natin tong hello world na to. So we don't need that para explain your function. So, ito. So, this as a whole is a function. And this is called the main function. The most important function. So, dito nagsisimula yung code magbasa. So, babasahin niya lahat ng nasa loob ni main function. Kaya dito tayo nagsusulat ng code. Kung naalala nyo kanina nilagay ko dito, commands. Which is, andun lahat ng code sa loob ng function. So, again, yung syntax niya, return type, which is int. Function name, which is yung main. And then, wala siyang parameter sa loob. So, pwede tayong walang parameter sa loob. And then, next, meron tayong curly braces na magka-partner. Then, we have this return statement na hindi muna natin papakialaman. So, guys, ano ba yung silbi ng function? So, we can divide yung mga function natin sa different functions niya. So, kunwari, gusto natin meron tayong function na nagsasabing hello. So, we are going to make a new function. So, siguraduhin nyo na nasa taas siya ng main kasi kailangan muna siyang ma-initialize bago natin siya matawag. So, here we have the return type na tinatawag na void which is hindi na kailangan ng return na ganito. So, yan. Void and then space yung function name. Kunwari, say hello. And then, we are going to use uh, parentheses so wala siyang parameters mamaya maintindihan nyo kung ano yung parameters and then curly braces magka-partner so pag nilagay nyo naman yung isang curly braces magka-partner na sila lalabas if code blocks yung gamit nyo and enter enter tapos sa gitna nyan dito natin ilalagay yung code natin so we are going to just print out hello see out hello so dapat may lumabas na yan diba so but if we run this if we run that walang lalabas so, nakita nyo, walang hello. Di ba dapat may hello yan? That is because, hindi pa natin tinatawag si say hello na function. So, guys, ang automatic lang na tinatawag ni C++ sa una is yung main function. So, hindi nyo papansinin yung ibang function hanggat hindi nyo tinatawag yun sa main function. So, in order to do this, we just need to type in yung function name natin dun sa loob ng main function. So, say hello. So, yan, lalabas na siya. And i-enter na lang natin. And then, always, meron laging semicolon. And then, if we run this, lalabas na yung hello natin. So, ayan, lumabas na yung hello. Kasi, tinawag na natin yung say hello. So, nakikita nyo na ba yung silby ng function? So, eto na. Tapos na tayo sa ating calling a function and learning function syntax. So, pag-aaralan natin ngayon yung parameter and return function. So, guys, Kung nakikita nyo, itong return 0 na to is mahalaga kay in main. So, that's just how C++ works. So, bawal natin baguhin yung main na yan. So, leave this as it is. So, guys, sa iba namang function, yung mga tinatawag na additional function rather than yung main function, maraming benefit yung return type and yung parameters. So, first of all, tina muna natin yung return type. So, meron tayong void na return type, diba? Meron, pwede din natin gawing int, string, and other data type. So, pwede siya mag-return na iba ibang data type. So, nakikita nyo, int main, ang nare-return niya is number. Kasi yung int yung 
i-return yung return type niya. So, gumawa pa tayo ng isang function. This time, it will return an integer. So, guys, uh, again, return type int space yung pangalan ng function. So, kunwari, cube. And then, parenthesis, sa loob may parameters. So, this is a good time para ituro sa inyo kung ano yung parameters. So, guys, parang sa loob nun, manghihingi lang siya ng variable. So, kunwari, kailangan natin ng int. And then, yung pangalan ng ating variable. So, kunwari, number. Num. And then, again, curly braces. Yung magkapares. And then, enter, enter sa loob niya yung code natin. So, guys, kailangan natin i-return yung cube ng isang number. So, in order for that to happen, so, yan, meron tayong return statement. Sa so, kanan nun, yun yung i-return nating number. So, guys, meron tayong hininging isang variable, which is yung num. Pwede natin gamitin yan sa loob. Makikita nyo yan. Yan. Pwede natin gamitin sa loob. So, num times num times num. So, guys, pagka tinawag natin yung cube, manghingi siya ng isang number, tapos i-return niya yung num times num times num. So, yeah, para malaman natin yun, we are going to see out yung cube. Yan, cube. Nagkita niyo yan. Pagka, ayan, no? Lumabas. Yan, merong nakalagay na int num dun sa gitna sa may bandang kanan ng cube. Pagka tinipe natin, nawala. Ayan, there you go. So, yan. May naglalagay niya tayo ng isang number. So, what if we want to find yung cube ng 3? And then, we are going to um, close that using semicolon. And then, we run this. There you go. 27. So, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3, 27. So, gumagana yung cube natin. So, yun yung functions. So, yun yung ating benefit ng functions. So guys, to add on to that, yung parameters natin pwedeng marami. So kunwari, gusto natin kunin yung gitna ng dalawang number. So kunwari, um, int mid. Tapos hingi tayo ng dalawang number. Int num1, then int num2. So dalawa na hinihingi natin parameters. So in order na ma para makuha natin yan, we are going to return yung pag a natin yung dalawa. Num1 plus num2. Then, ipaparentesis natin yan kasi pag a-addin muna natin bago natin i-divide. Then, divided by 2. Ayan. So, yun yung gitna nung dalawang number. So, may mid function tayo. Itanggalin na natin itong dalawa. So, hindi tayo malito. Ayan. So, wala na tayong q function. Pwede na natin ilagay yung mid function. So, again, pagka tinipe natin yung mid, makikita nyo, ipaprompt niya na kailangan niya ng num1 and then kailangan din niya ng num2. So, in same order, lalagay natin yung num1, kumari 10, and then isa pa, kumari 5. So, dahil hindi siya float, hindi siya ganun ka-precise maglalabas. So, wala siyang point-point. So, ayan, i-run natin to and let's look at the results. So, ayan, 7 yung lumabas. 10 plus 5, 15, divided by 2, 7. So, dapat 7.5 talaga yan. Kaso, wala tayong float. So, pwede natin palitan to ng float. Again. So, return natin float. Ang hingi natin. Float. Okay, return natin float. Diba? Okay, yan. So, run na natin. Mas precise na yan. So, if run this, 7.5 as you can see. So, laging tatandaan. Ang float, may decimal. Ang int, walang decimal. So guys, um, that's it for this tutorial. This is the functions and you can do sorts of things na kahit ilang function pwede kayong magkaroon sa isang project. So guys, yun muna for today and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!